Throughout the last 15 years, Mojang has rolled out many incredible updates keeping the game fresh and bringing new content to excite the community. Looking ahead though, I can't help but wonder what could come next, what exactly lies in store for the game itself. There are many theories and speculations about the next update, but amongst all that, I personally think Mojang has to focus on one main thing to keep the flow. And that is meeting player demand. There are millions of ideas to improve the game while keeping it vanilla. In addition, Mojang has a ton of inspiration they can draw from mods or players just like they did in the past. One of the most anticipated community features, the end update, is something that we will expect to see in the future. This update is gonna be massive. We'll probably see new structures, mobs, or possibly even new biomes just like 1.16. Imagine a more overpowered version of the Elytra. Okay, maybe that's a bit too far. However, following a massive update, Update, we have begun to witness a pattern where the next few updates are much more relaxed. Talking beyond the end update, I think Mojang would try and enhance the features that are already there. A prime example of this is what they did with wolves, adding new breeds. Despite its simplicity, the community was basically begging for this feature ever since they added dogs into the game. So, you could say it was a very appreciated feature. This tells us many things about Mojang and how they make new updates. It's quite obvious how they make us wait for the features we need and eventually we'll make them better than what we expected. It's quite like if a game had retention. In future updates, Mojang might finally deliver on features that never made it into the game. Theoretically, they could add the lost mobs from the past mob world or maybe enhance something like they promised with the Birch Forest in 1.19. Even though it's most likely not gonna be that big, this would be something useful and would definitely be something in the works. But there is a problem Mojang will have to face in future updates. With many possibilities and ideas that can be implemented into the game, they will have to find the balance of whether the new features they add stay true to the vanilla theme of Minecraft. Yeah, this is the literal definition of the infamous word, Minecrafty. But there are many complaints about almost every new feature Mojang adds into the game, saying it's way too modern and not very original. But I think they'll figure this out. Furthermore, Mojang has the opportunity to refine gameplay mechanics, enhancing aspects such as combat dynamics, redstone, exploration mechanics. These improvements could significantly elevate the overall gaming experience and keep players engaged for years to come. And make sure to subscribe. Okay, back to the topic. In conclusion, it's safe to say that Minecraft is far from over yet. There is a lot more to come and I'm sure Mojang will be paying a lot of attention in the next few years, so we just have to be patient. I'm Starpoke and let's change Minecraft together.